Hey, what's up? Welcome back. So a couple of months ago, I had the privilege of traveling to Norway because my sister was actually graduating from business school over there. So my parents and I all went over to Norway to attend the ceremony, which was really awesome, especially because the original ceremony was canceled because of COVID. It was really nice for us to actually all be in the same place because for example, for my graduation, which was still during COVID times, my sister was actually still in China. So she was unable to attend my graduation. So all we could do was FaceTime outside of the uh, ceremony hall, which was kind of sad, but I was very happy to be able to go to Norway. And of course I had to bring my camera with me to film a quick POV while I was out there. I hope you enjoy. Mona Lisa restaurant, pub bar, and specifically, they also have Pepsi Cola there. It's like a shadow in the little, step pattern there. I already had a look at uh, Location Scout and there's some really cool buildings, really cool architecture in the city that I'm really excited to see. So yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys along and uh, go for a little explore together. I already got some cool shots yesterday of the uh, Opera House. I'm going to try and go back tonight, maybe uh, around sunset time because it looks really pretty. Maybe I'll go to F4 actually for my daytime shots because I'm not really trying to get any vocalicious shots here. And having an, a higher aperture also makes sure that more things are in focus. That's kind of cool. Let's get a quick shot of the palace. Here we go. Wait for these people to pass. Boom, lovely. Oh, they got cherry blossoms here in Norway as well. Let me try and grab a photo. That looks really nice. Oh, the two dudes just chilling with their dogs. This is so cool. So um, we just came across this park with these like odd looking statues. And basically they had a competition that was run by the princess of Norway, I guess. And the winning sort of pictures that these kids, these school kids drew, for example, this hand with a tree coming out of it, they made into um, sculptures in the park. There's a rainbow here, that's over there as well. That's awesome. That's such a wholesome, like, I don't know. Yeah, that's such a wholesome thing to do. Let me take another shot here and try to introduce a bit more foreground into the photo, or just a little, just another layer. I'm gonna lift my camera up like so, I have the branches in front, boom. Just a little bit different than the classic straight on shot. Lovely little alleyway, I like the leading lines. Boom, some silhouettes in there. There we go. Not sure how to pronounce the name of this park, but this is like the main park. I think it's called Vigiland. Vigiland? Maybe that's how you say it? Not sure, but there's a cool pillar in the distance and a nice symmetrical scene, so I'm gonna help myself. It's a nice little photo. Let's get a bit closer. Oh, this will be a good photo for the telephoto lens, but didn't bring it with me today. With me today, I've actually just got my like standard sort of traveling gear, which usually involves the Tamron 70 to 70 zoom lens at f2.8 and my Samyang 12 mm the wide angle lens, uh, the 12 mm I only put on the very specific uh, situations. For example, if I'm like inside a church or if there's a tall building that I want to get into the shot. But for the majority of the shots, I tend to use the Tamron zoom lens. It's the best like all round the lens that I've got in my arsenal. Okay, so now that I'm getting a bit closer, it seems to be a, a theme of sort of babies uh, with these statues. Yeah, a lot of these statues are carrying babies, which Whoa, what is going on here? A shit ton of cyclists just came. Are they coming? No, they're actually turning around. Awesome. That means I can get a shot. So many yellow helmets. That's quite jokes. Oh, it must be like a cycling tour of the city or something. Yeah, look, this guy's just like dual wielding like two babies. I don't know. Not quite sure what this is about, but are they all naked? Oh shit, they're all naked. Could I show this on YouTube? I don't want to get demonetized for showing some kind of inappropriate content, but I hope it's okay given that this is art. Okay, we're getting a bit closer to the main attraction, which is the uh, pillar that you can see in the distance there. Let's go up the stairs and check out this, uh, this famous pillar that I don't know anything about because I'm uncultured and I didn't bother to read up about the city that I'm visiting. Okay, let's have a look at this thing. So this is the Vigeland 
uh, monolith, if I'm saying that correctly, and essentially it's 121 sort of humans, like statues of humans, stacked on top of each other towards, I guess, heaven. Um, looks really cool from the distance, because once you get up close, you realize that it's actually like, yeah, sort of <laughs> actual people, you know, women, men, children, which is quite a surreal thing to see. And I think this might be a job for the uh, wide angle lens, actually. So it might change over lenses quickly. Good bit. Okay, there we go, that works. That is quite cool. Let's get a close up, just like this. It would be really cool if the sky was a bit cloudier, just to add some texture, but that's right. Still looks cool. Uh, see, they're enjoying the sunlight too. Switching back over to my zoom lens, let's see if we can get some detail shots here. <laughs> Yeah, that is a pretty crazy looking scene. What I've got with me today actually is this little bag uh, in which I've got my wide angle and my camera. Yes. A really funky looking building here. Um, I think it's some kind of museum. I'm not quite sure what kind of museum. Maybe like a maritime museum. Everything's just so like clean and nice. I don't know if that's that's a thing just across all of Norway or if it's just their capital but compared to a lot of other capital cities that tends that can have a tendency to be a little messier or, or dirtier this place has been super nice you know the public transport's been excellent everything's just everything just seems to work well and everything seems to be well integrated yeah it's not a given in a lot of places that's not usually the baseline assumption No idea what that creepy statue is over there, but it looks very unique. So I'm gonna try and get a photo of it. Looks like a dinosaur maybe? I don't know. And it looks like its mouth is like sewn shut, which is kind of creepy to be honest. Buttes, look at how stupidly beautiful this place is. I think maybe it's just because, you know, the grass is always greener elsewhere and it's like, I'm lucky because it's a sunny day and all, but it's just really peng walking around, uh, seeing everything here. So I'm making sure not to overexpose anything um, by adjusting my shutter speed. Also, there's a cool little frame here. I can see this massive ring, not sure what it is, but I can try and shoot through it. Oh, I'm way too far away. I was gonna try and take a photo of that like light tower in the distance, but we have this uh, very interesting art installation over here. Two round metal balls. Yeah, not sure what this is supposed to represent. It could be some oranges, could represent the body part maybe. I suppose it's uh, down to the individual to interpret this piece of artwork. Very interesting. Oh, I like this boat because it has a Norwegian flag on it. Let me try and get it in a shot. Ah, uh, the wind isn't that strong, so the flag isn't really waving. I love this sign. Not sure what the company does, but it looks really cool. Let me take a photo of it. It looks kind of, um, I don't know, I like the font, I like the color contrast, and I like the, the light contrast with the shadow because it's a nice sunny day. We are just outside the opera house. I already took some nice photos on my phone yesterday. I want to come back and take some shots with my camera. Also, there's a massive puddle, which is great, as well as some birds chilling on the puddle. Let me try and get a bit closer. Not quite close enough. But um, yeah, we can use this massive puddle, which I don't even know how this puddle got here. I swear it's bigger than yesterday and it wasn't, it hasn't rained, so. But we can use this puddle to capture some really cool reflections of the main building. However, I can take a photo of this bird. Whoa, two birds. That's the um, Oslo Opera House, which is known for, well, the fact that it looks really cool. It's got these like cool looking slants. Uh, I don't really know how to describe them, but let's have a look what kind of shots we can get here. Whoa, this looks really cool. I like how there's just a single person, well, two people chilling on that bit. So I can get them. A 
Everything's very angular in Oslo, I feel like. Lots of angles, that's the only way I can describe it. It's a very sharp looking building. I wish the security camera wasn't there, but I think it's small enough that people won't notice it. Again, sharp angles. That's the theme of the video, I feel like. Oh shit. And this is the strength of the zoom lens. I've said it in previous videos loads, but the fact that I have my 1770 basically means that I can kind of leave the house or leave the hotel room knowing that even though I don't know what shots I'm going to take, I'll be okay because I'm covering quite a large focal range. You know, the wide end, I'm basically working with 24 mils. At the tight end, I think it's a 105, yeah. And it just gives me the flexibility of being able to react to my surroundings, uh, which I can't always anticipate. I'm not always going to know where I'm going to be taking photos, um, but it allows me to react to my environment and kind of adjust the focal length to get the shot that I want. It's so cool. And it's so bright. Whoa, that building looks cool. I like the glistening kind of reflection in the glass there. I don't know what it is about this shot, but the mixture of the kind of cool looking floor with the silhouettes of people, it's quite a nice, uh, nice little scene. Cool little land thing. But yeah, this thing as well. I don't know what that is, but it looks kind of cool. I quite like this cluster of buildings. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that this is part of the barcode project, uh, which I've read a lot about when, uh, when Googling sort of photo spots in Norway. And uh, yeah, it's just a bunch of unique looking high rises in the middle of the city. Especially the Lloyd building looks quite cool. Yeah, uh, I feel like I need to get a lot closer to get a meaningful shot, but I'm a bit far and I can't really be asked. Very high contrast, sort of harsh sunlight picture. <clears throat> we just took the metro uh, on a very scenic ride because we went up the mountain and now we are at the Oslo ski jump menu, which looks pretty nuts. Especially up close, like once you realize the scale of this thing, it's kind of crazy to think about people skiing all the way from the top, you know, all the way down to do the jump. Oh wait, no. I think that's where they jump. Never mind. They might land like somewhere along here then. It's not the most aesthetic photo, but it's just kind of cool. And uh, obviously like one of the pictures that you kind of have to take if you come to Oslo, uh, just because it's one of the main like tourist destinations. Here we are in the center of Oslo. So apparently you can go on these boats as a, simply a form of public transport. So I think we're going to try and go on one of these and uh, see if we can enjoy a little boat ride through Oslo. We're actually here for a couple of days. So we all bought these like week long uh, tickets, which hopefully will allow us to go on one of these boats. But let's see if I'm right or if I'm trying shit. Oh yes, sweet. Okay, quick intermission. If you like the photos and if you like the way that I edit, please let me know in the comments below because I'm planning on releasing my presets. So if this is something that interests you and you want to be able to purchase my presets, please let me know in the comments below and I'll look into putting them up on my website in the near future. Right, back to the video. I wonder what happened here for this massive tree to have fallen over like that. We've got this, add some bokeh into it, lower the aperture, higher shutter speed to compensate. Let's see what kind of edit we can throw on this. Might just be a shit photo. We're off the boat now, and uh, we're in some foresty island bit, I think. Not quite sure. Let's go on a little explore, see what we can find. Kind of like this uh, lone bench over there, just chilling. I don't know why, it just reminds me of like quite a nostalgic photo. It reminds me of a memory I don't have. Maybe I can add some foreground to this. And there we go. That's kind of nice with a light sort of coming across with the shadows and stuff. Could we be editing some greens this time, let's see. Look, I don't really often edit greens. It's not a colour you see often in uh, central London. So we have found a, um, a like an ancient site of um, this monastery from back in the days, the good old days. This 
<coughs> these ruins stem back to the 12th century and uh, there was a group of monks living here. Apparently, while they were living in the monastery, weren't allowed to speak. They would only use a simple form of sign language to communicate, which I thought was pretty wild. I don't think I could imagine living like that, to be honest, personally. So uh, I have a lot of respect for people that were able to pull it off. Pretty impressive that it was preserved for, for this long. Like if this is basically 800 plus years old, all right, just had a lovely dinner at a uh, Chinese restaurant. I'm not going to lie, we have had a lot of Chinese food while we've been in Oslo because, yeah, the, uh, the local cuisine is uh, not it. Although, to be fair, the restaurant, we, the Norwegian restaurant we went to earlier today was quite good. So we are in a park called Ekeberg Park, I think. Uh, at least I think that's how you say it. And there's some really unique sculptures here. The main reason why we're here is um, there is a really cool viewing platform that I want to see. Also, this is just so obscene. Like, I don't know if you can tell what that's supposed to be, but it's quite interesting. And also, there's some pretty saucy looking statues over here um, with a really nice light. So I might just have to take a photo of the silhouette. Oh, it's pretty backlit. There's a really nice um, sort of viewing platform that I saw online that I want to check out. I think it's fairly high up, so uh, let's do a bit of climbing. Pretty stunning view. Oh, I like this thing. Let me take a photo of this. Uh, is it called a viewfinder? I don't know. Got a really nice uh, golden hour going on at the moment. I'm going to zoom all the way in to increase the compression. I'm going to focus on this telescope thing. Maybe a vertical shot. This is really cool. You can see all of Oslo from this park, basically. There we go. We found the famous viewing platform. Oh, there's a cool statue there as well. I didn't realize that was there. Ideally, I wanted to come at night, to be honest, but we're here now, so we might as well get our shots. I think everything lights up really nicely at night, but I don't think I can bring my parents to uh, wait here for the next hour just for me to get one photo. But this is a really, really nice spot. Oh, it's one of those things that only looks real from a certain angle. <laughs> Let me try frame something through these trees, maybe. It's just pretty hard to expose because uh, the sky is super bright right now which means uh, I have to uh, increase my shutter speed quite a bit but as a result everything else becomes super super dark Ooh, look at that oh that's the barcode district I'm not quite sure where it gets its name from I guess it kind of looks like a barcode That's pretty weird, I can't lie. No idea what this is. This park is surprisingly massive, considering the fact how central it is. It also has loads of really cool art installations and sculptures. Just saw this from the distance, just floating in the trees, which is kind of crazy. It's also slowly spinning around. Huh. What an interesting piece of art. You've got this person sort of doing a headstand with a head in the ground. And above them, you have another person standing, balancing perfectly on their foot with two geese coming out of their face. I think I've developed hay fever while being in Norway. Like I don't normally have hay fever, but this is not something that I normally experience. And throughout my time in Oslo, it's just been getting worse and worse to the extent where I can barely keep my eyes open. My nose is constantly itching and I'm sneezing almost every other minute, which is a uh, pretty clapped, I can't lie. I don't know how people with hay fever normally do this, but I really hope that this is not like a constant thing. Oh, this is one of those cool optical illusions where even though it's actually a hole in the stone, it looks like it's kind of popping out at you. It's kind of neat. Ooh, the fiery sky in the background looks really nice. Maybe I can take a photo like this. It's a nice shot. 
can't really tell. Ah, yes. This obviously represents the intertwined nature of life, how things weave into each other and intersect at different points in life. And the spontaneous cross-section where it looks like a DNA helix represents the creation of life and the, the randomness of everything that we see in the world that we live in today. Let me see if I got that right. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Damn, look at that. That is really nice. The sun's just set behind the mountain. The lights have turned on around this like little viewing platform thingy. It's still pretty tricky to expose because the shadows are super dark, but the uh, the sky is still fairly bright from the uh, from the sunset. Might have to wait a little bit longer for for the sky just to get a bit darker. That is stunning. Yeah, it's actually quite hard because not all the city lights have been turned on. Um, which means that the buildings are just a bit too dark. Yeah, it's all right. Loving the colours in the sky. The city lights look beautiful as well. A nice way to end the day. Let's see what we can capture here. Ooh, this is going to be a big, well, fix it and post kind of picture. The sky is still pretty bright, I can't lie. However, yeah. I feel like I'm just overexposing the sky and underexposing everything else, but that's okay. We'll fix it in post. I'm trying to use the histogram to basically tell me whether or not things are like too dark or too bright. As long as nothing is clipping, we can recover a lot in post. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Colors in the sky are crazy. It's actually not that bright. I'm actually having to slow my shutter speed quite a bit. 